Hi, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and this is for Saturday, December 28th. Um, I want to look at uh, TripAdvisor here. A lot of the uh, internet stocks have been rolling over. Um, TripAdvisor is actually doing really well, uh, so we want to check this out. Stock is right at support. You know, we can get real, I don't know if I can say anal retentive or not, um, so I won't do that. But let's just say we can get really super precise in connecting these lines, but it doesn't really help us much. Um, so we just basically draw a trend line up here, connecting the dots for the most part. Draw another one up here. And what do we have? We've got a few different times when the stock has drifted all the way back to test the line. It's done it a whole bunch of times to first establish it, then test it, test it again, and now where are we? We are at a critical juncture right here because if this trend is to continue, and look at how far this has gone. And man, it's gone from, what, 35 uh between 35 and 40, whatever, I'm clear up to 90 bucks. So it's done well over a double. Uh, we could say almost a triple at some point. Um, but the bottom line is this has gone a long way. Has it gone like too far too fast? Um, who, who am I to say? You got to look at the chart for that. And here's how we'll figure it out. As long as the stock stays above this level, I mean, 78, 67, let's just call it 78 bucks or so. As long as it stays above that level, then I think this is good to go. Um, but if it doesn't, if it starts drifting lower, um, I think you really want to be taking profits on this stock. I'm, I'm just, I'm not really sure that I would short it because the stock's in an uptrend and typically you can't tell um, the difference between tops and high bases that turn out to be consolidations until after the fact. But we've got a lot of trading that's gone on here. So if this stock does start to fall further, you know, this is potential support here. So this is why I'm saying I'm not necessarily sure that I would short the stock, but if it starts falling below this level, don't just buy it or just hold on to it, assuming that um, this support here is gonna hold. Because what if it doesn't? You're holding here, okay, I bought it at 81, now it's at 75, but oh, this support will hold. Okay, well, it's not really holding. Oh, but that's okay. The 200-day moving average will hold, and Lord knows how relevant that's been. Oh, not. So then it's down to 70, and now what are you doing? Well, now you've taken like almost an 11-point loss on a stock, and you're not feeling too good about it, and now you're trading the hope strategy. You're just hoping that the stock finds support. Meanwhile, some of its buddies in the same sector are not really doing that well right now. So this is one of these stocks that's kind of going against the grain in that it is still trending higher. But... Um, Friday, this is, you know, kind of a little bit of a shot across the bow. So, like I said, if the stock stays above this level, then it's all good, but you cannot discount this little move below the 50-day moving average and then a real weak rally. I mean, this thing just isn't really doing much of anything, so I just want you to be careful with this. Okay, members, um, over to the weekend update. One of the videos that we're looking at is all the social media stocks. So I want to go through those because those seem to be hot um, one way or another. So uh, get over there now.